Travis Wayne Goodsell. I think I'm getting myself uh, sick, either with uh, cold or uh, maybe flu. Never had the flu before, but uh, I've had colds lots of times. Hmm. I am doing this video because I just had a stranger danger. Uh, as uh, I went to go lie down to take a nap to see if that would help ease the temperature, uh, somebody came speeding into our parking lot. I found out after Russ let her in the door and uh, came knocking on my door. I of course don't answer stranger dangers. Especially when I'm trying to deal with uh, head temperature. But uh, Yeah, nobody else knew her. As uh, Russ was on his way out anyway, and I guess that's why he let her in. But I had informed Russ when uh, Judge Campbell had uh, given the judgment against me, uh, I told him about it. I didn't tell him it was the church I was suing, <laughs> but I, uh, I reminded him that the last time I lost my lawsuit was when uh, there was a full-on attack to uh, assassinate me with the fake eviction, and I uh, informed him that I'm likely to be under attack again now that the second lawsuit has uh, gone against me as well and so yeah I'm I, I'm not opening the door to strangers I'm kinda disappointed that Russ would let somebody in the building knowing that my life is in danger but again I did the video last night where he asked if I was Baptist when he came to my ceiling in the Salt Lake Temple. God. Mormons just don't think. They just assume people are good, and so only those who leave the church are the real evil enemies <laughs> that they got to stay away from or allow to be punished and suffer. Everybody else? Oh, I didn't know. Uh, but, uh, yeah, she uh, was a, in, I would guess about 5'5 five, five ish. Uh, difficult for me to tell as I'm 6'5. Uh, she had uh, uh, dark hair that seemed to have auburn in it. Couldn't tell if it was her real hair or if it was colored. Uh, I think it was in a a ponytail, maybe. Uh, she was quick, uh, but heavy set. Uh, the car was a silver, don't know make and models, it was four door, uh, and, and it was sort of raised up rather than a normal car. The wheels didn't have hubcaps, so there was just the black, uh, is it rims, whatever you call them, the spokes or the tires 
and uh, yeah, that's all I know. She had no, no paperwork on her. Uh, didn't see any weapons. Uh, there was nothing left at my door. She didn't tell anybody who she was. So, yeah, it doesn't matter if it's male or female. You can't come into my life and expect me to just be a sucker and open up the door. This is my life. I came to the church in 1998 saying, hey, I deciphered Paleo Hebrew. Joseph Smith is a translator. Isn't that great? And the church has sought to destroy me and has successfully destroyed me, has prevented the courts from letting me defend myself as I'm forced to be a prosecutor with no legal representation because they've financially destroyed me because you know they're the true church so they have to do all that's necessary to make sure I don't destroy them because I'm in the wrong and so the judges agreed and prevent me from presenting evidence despite following the pro se litigant guide. So, I just needed a, some kind of a record of what just occurred. I used to use my website for keeping record of all the attacks that were done to me. Uh, this is what uh, pattern was before is that they'd have uh, a person uh, employed come sit in the office in the building and they would stay away from me they would lie and wait until given the order to go make contact with me and then such contact would threaten threaten me and I, of course, would deny their threats and call the authorities, and they'd back off. Oftentimes would replace the person with somebody else. They'd lie in wait, get the call to approach me and threaten me, and we'd go through it again. Eventually, they realized they needed to get the cops and authorities on their side, so they did that. which forced me into the courts. But of course they know that they will already win in the courts as one of the officers that silenced me with her hand ready to pull out her gun and shoot me said that uh, they're no longer responding to any of my calls. And so as a result, I have nowhere to go to call for help. The courts have failed me and the police, so I'm on my own. And that makes me more vulnerable than what the church already made me vulnerable for. And they're just whittling away, little by little taking what I tried to rebuild after having it all gone and just slowly whittle it away with the occasional death threats and unknown threats of stranger dangers to make sure that I'm in complete terror and fear for my life and they never tell me what I'm supposed to do other than I need to leave but how am I gonna leave in what manner am I gonna leave 
what transportation is going to take all my stuff and they don't care they want me gone they want me to abandon all my property and just get the hell out of Utah but uh, yeah I've done the videos people who see my videos like I said they're angry the church does not excommunicate me they want me dead and silenced because I've got the actual evidence against the church I don't do just videos talking about how Mormon doctrine and religion is wrong because it's not Christian that's everybody else and they don't care they allow people to be those LDS critics they allow them to be popular on YouTube you know John DeLynn with his hundred over a hundred thousand subscribers and views on videos and Exmo Lex even they don't care about them because they don't hurt the church you know they get a lot of people to follow them a lot of people to like their videos Zelf on the shelf even very popular among ex-mormons and you have Mormons who troll those who comment on those ex-mormon channels as I've done videos about trolls against me when I try to help out but none of them see me as having anything of value to say beyond what they already have made their minds up against the church so John DeLynn no he only supports the popular people he won't condescend to me to say hey Travis what's up you tried suing the church and they wouldn't even let you present evidence that's strange why is that it's because I have knowledge that the church doesn't want released and I'm releasing it in these videos and that upsets Mormons because they can't verbally attack me because that does nothing they can put a thumbs down but that does nothing it doesn't stop me is it and so yeah the only thing they can do is to take my life to show me they're the real men or women in today's case but I have no idea what she wanted and that's what's disturbing about it all there's no email communication no YouTube communication nothing to identify this woman and I can't call the cops I'm completely helpless as this building is a weapons free building so I'm literally helpless Just understand, the church isn't true. I've got the evidence. And for that, they want me dead.